Hi, Brad Silver Lining Daydreams. Come along with us as we wallpaper our RV's bunkhouse bedroom with this peel and stick wallpaper. It's made by In Home. It's called Timber Peel and Stick. It's the white color. In our previous video, we painted the bunkhouse and built some shelving in there. So we'll link that video in the description box along with our RV renovation playlist and some of our RV remodel videos. This is gonna be our third time wallpapering with a peel and stick wallpaper. Last year, Michelle and I installed wallpaper in our RV's kitchen. And Michelle wallpapered the back wall of our RV's bedroom with this really cool peel and stick wallpaper. So while we're showing you how to wallpaper with this peel and stick wallpaper in our RV bunkhouse, we're hoping to inspire you. Hey, babe. Hi. All right, so what's the plan? Plan is, by the way, our wallpaper is gorgeous. So here's the plan. We think the ceiling right here in the middle is lowest. So we're going to have a gap at the ends. So we're going to just get this top on here straight. And we're not going to worry if we're all the way up to the ceiling or not on the sidewall because we're going to just put a trim piece mm -hmm. all the way across here. I think it'll make it look finished too. Well, you know, we're not going to just beat ourselves up trying to get this perfect because it's just not going to happen in this camper. So <laughs> let's just get this up and then and we'll have put some trim good. pieces I'm on I'm sure there. it'll look so, good. I think yeah. the trim will really help Yeah. just to finish off and to cover up any mistakes. Yeah, so which what, we're not going to have. <laughs> right. So, so what we did was we peeled the back off at the top. Just, just the this portion. Three inches. Yep. So mm -hmm. now what I'm going to do is reach under in the middle, and cut this and remove remove the paper going this way. Not cut the wallpaper. You're no. just going to cut the backing. Break the backing off. Got it. In the middle, all okay. the way down, and go this way as, as we, go. we go, and Perfect. not worry about again, not worry about that gap at the ceiling. Right. So. I don't think there's going to be a gap anyhow. Um, and this is going to be the hardest piece because this is the longest. So, yeah. All right. Here we go. Are you videoing? Now I am, yeah. There you go. Once you got it all just right, you can pretty much go horizontal yeah. with it. This, I, this piece is just the hardest because it's so long and it's not made to do it like this, but... Yeah, you just start in the center and then you smooth out. Let me grab this That's paper good. here. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's looking great. Good job. Try to... There, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Laying down on the Whoops. bulk, I see. Okay, that's good. That's good, babe. It's all. Oh, okay, no, that's good. Whoop, I can tell it's off here. There's a bubble here. Yeah, I just gotta. Let's stop there. Mm -hmm. Careful it doesn't stretch. Yeah, that's true. I know. I just want to make sure. You got to be careful. You don't want to stretch the wallpaper. Oh, true. You want it to lie flat. You don't want to stretch it. Got it. This is and really then, looking good, Brad. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting it in there. And what we did, we didn't video it. Maybe we'll get a clip later, but you see the seam here? Mm -hmm. The other side, the wallpaper went way out to here, so we took the X-Acto knife and just cut cut this with the seam on the other side, but here it's so close we're going to leave it, and that little bit of overlap in these corners I think is better than trying to make two pieces mesh and put caulk there. A little gap up here, let's try this. Nice. I think this wall's off and this is going down. Probably. Yeah, so this all has to come off. Yeah. Um, I think we go with this and then we... Um, Once we cut cut at this window, that could change. I think it looks great, Brad. I, yeah, but I, I'm, we got a pucker right here, babe. Yeah. So this pucker can't go this way, but it may have to. You mm -hmm. may not be able to just go this way. Okay. I think we have to cut this window out and then kind of readjust. Readjust. <laughs> I can't see. The exacto knife is so dull it won't even cut Here, this. Here, let me get you a knife. Then. So so here's what we're we're just doing this with the wrong tools. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, the right tools for the job don't make a difference. Yeah, having that cap off is you got an inch of forgiveness not as easy because you're in a small quarters and um, yeah 
we're not using the right tools. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I think the next spot we do, we we uh, cut it in the 24 inch lengths. And we seam it together. Seam, yeah, yeah that's good. The seam, that's fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut that. Yeah, maybe I'll go back just to kind of pinch it in that corner a little better. Well, eight hours later, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a lot harder than it looks because mm -hmm. the space is so small. I think it looks beautiful, Brad. I really do. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Shot like this. It's looking good. I'm just going to get them a little snug. Okay. Once they get a bunch on, I will okay. tighten them. And we're going to put trim down on the bottom here, right? I yeah. think so. I think so. I think it'll make it look finished. And then, um, oh, we've got a little divot over there, but I can get that out too. Yeah. Okay. Are you videoing, babe? I did on that one. There's like two longer screws, and I don't remember which hole they go in. I'm going to shoot for one of them up here. Oh, I'm hurting. My, my back is killing me. Yeah, I'm glad we took the top off. Hey. Hi. <laughs> nice feet. I know. <laughs> And it sticks because of the paint all that. Yeah. A little screwdriver or something would be good a slant to get in there. Oh, I forgot one, babe. <laughs> That's really easy. So well worth it, too. We should have done that in the kitchen area. I didn't realize it. It would be so easy, yeah. That's okay. And vacuum it out. Well, the other window had all, when they did a cutout, it was all a mess with sawdust in it. So I'm just going to kind of get this. 35. Good. All right. So we cut this one 35 instead of trying to manhandle a whole huge one. Right? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. So we are measuring from the edge of that wall to the edge here. And then we're going to put that one up and then we're going to measure from here to the edge of this wall so that we have one long piece of wallpaper to put up, but it'll be in two sections. So to do this side wall here, it's going to be a total of four, four pieces, which, you know, something, even if we were to have purchased the correct wallpaper, it would take at least three there'd be at least three seams so that's all right so babe what you're saying this is made to be put up vertically vertically not horizontally like we did on the first part this kind of stretches and moves and does funny stuff right it was hard to manage all of it was hard hard to manage a huge piece like that <laughs> ever so careful mm-hmm So this piece goes here. Yeah, if you can and see then, the stripes horizontal. And then it's piece here, slight seam here, the slight seam here, which you'll never really notice. Right. So this has to be cut, but we want to keep these lines here to line up the next piece. Good job. Mm -hmm. Look at us go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We were going to have curtains up here again, so um, I didn't even smooth out these bumps. But there's a change of plan. <laughs> and you're going to see what we've got a cool window treatment over this. So I'm not sure over time this may poke through. And if that's the case, we'll just trim this window. We'll put a piece of cedar up here to look pretty and we'll cover that. But um, Well, we left these holes here too, remember, to, um, so we would know where to put the curtain rods exactly. that we did have up. Yeah. But now that we're not doing it... We're not, so you know something, it's fine.
we're learning as we go. Yep. Okay. This is our first camper remodel. <laughs> But uh, that's why you want to smooth those out. Yep, you can see that one there too. Yeah. And that's okay. I have a feeling we will trim this with cedar. Okay. And that'll give a little bit of a contrast. When there's something dark showing against this um, wallpaper, it makes the wallpaper pop more. I volunteered to cut it, but Brad didn't trust me. <laughs> I don't trust myself, baby. <laughs> There we go, I think, right? Yep. Um, yeah. Yay, look at that. Works like a charm. All right, I'll go get the cap. Thanks. Baby up. Looks good. Here it is. Okay, how Oops. do you put it on? <laughs> this way. There you go. Yeah, this way. Yeah, the metal's at the top. Perfect. Yep. There we go. Difference? Oh my word. What a huge difference, Brad. I'm so glad that we took those off. They're so easy to take off too, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's always easy well, for me. <laughs> look how short the screws are. Right? I thought that this was gonna kind of move stuff and I was reluctant to take them off. No, what a big difference. Let's start here. Pops in. He said it was going down, right? It needs to go up more. Do you think we got it finally? Hmm? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it. I think we did too. This was the. You just uh -oh. get all those little, bubbles out. That's okay. Yeah. So straight across. Oh, there's some here. Yeah. So you work the center and then out from the center, right? Yeah, well, it's sort of like this. There's a bubble here, so there's a lot of. There's one. <laughs> Working them rub, out. Without rubbing the design off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a little no. one, but this was, this one was a little fussier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's looking really good, Brad. Just have the strip on the bottom and then the bottom bunk and we're done. Rather than holding it out here, you get in close. Fine motor control here. <laughs> Leaning to the right in a little groove the best I can. Mm -hmm. How satisfying this. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Like I said, how satisfying is that? Look at that, guys. That looks really good. Nice job, Oops. Thanks. I want to give a shout out to my wife, Michelle, and I just want to thank her for all her help. <laughs> you didn't see her much in the video, um, but she did a lot of this. But for a small space and modesty reasons, mm -hmm. we just decided not to video her. So <laughs> thanks for your understanding. Plus, we all know that you're a little bit more particular than I am. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. Well, you are fit yes for the no. job. <laughs> That's okay. All right, guys, we're going to give you a reveal here shortly, and thanks for coming along on our journey. All right, we just finished the bunkhouse, all of the wallpaper. Let's see it. Just looks so nice. Kept this wall painted. We just got to decorate and um, yeah, decorate and get some kids. <laughs> when lights go out, you're in my mind. I close my eyes, so it's just you and I. And I tell. Nothing like carbs and pepperonis. This is Lake Higanza campground. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just tripped on a stump. But uh, 
yeah we're finishing up the bunkhouse we've been doing some wallpapering in there all right if you're finding value in our videos remember to like share and subscribe and thanks for following us